welcome back in the last video we calculated the NPV number the NPV number is is very high so it looks like this is a very good project however this NPV number was calculated based on a set of assumptions the assumptions are listed here the assumptions are listed here so before we go ahead and make the investment in the NSCC information system. The first thing we should do is to make sure that the NPV calculation is robust to changing the assumptions a little bit. So these assumptions were made to calculate the NPV number. So we want to be sure that the NPV is still going to be a good number even if the assumptions were changed a little bit. So for example, the NPV calculation was done by assuming that the operation and maintenance cost is 18%. So a manager may say, what would happen to the NPV if our operation and maintenance cost is not 18%, but 20% or 25% or 30%. So Excel allows us to do some sensitivity analysis. So Excel allows us to recalculate the NPV number for different values of the operation and maintenance cost. So let's uh, let's do that first. So we are going to recalculate the NPV for different values of operation and maintenance cost. So let's say we are going to recalculate the NPV. So this the formula for the NPV is stored in cell C21. So I'm just copying this here and we are going to do maintenance cost sensitivity okay and we are going to calculate recalculate the NPV for different values of operation and maintenance cost so I am going to format the cells to be percentage two decimal points so let's say we recalculate for 15 15 18 20 25 and 30 percent okay so we will recalculate this formula for different values of maintenance cost so we select these cells and then say data what if analysis and then data table so we will recalculate the NPV formula for different values of the column input and our column input is originally stored in cell P22. So what we are saying is we are going to create a new table where the formula is stored here, but we will change the column input that is stored in P22 to these values uh, that we have entered here. So when I say OK, it recalculates the NPV for different values of the maintenance cost. So as you can see here, the NPV is still very good even if the operation and maintenance cost is as high as 30%. So in this example, we did the sensitivity, sensitivity analysis based on changing one variable. Excel allows one to change two variables simultaneously. So let's say we want to see how sensitive our NPV number is if maintenance cost and one other variable is changed. So let's say we want to change maintenance cost as well as cost of capital. So we have assumed a cost of capital of cost of capital of 7%. What happens if the cost of capital is also changed from 7% to 10% and 12% and 15%? So in this example, now I am going to recalculate the NPV 
by changing the maintenance cost and cost of capital at the same time. So again, the formula is stored in cell C21. So I'm just copying the formula for the NPV. And then we are going to do maintenance cost sensitivity. So this is our maintenance cost sensitivity. And then here we are going to do cost of capital sensitivity. Seven, ten, twelve, and fifteen. I'm going to center this. Okay, so we will recalculate the NPV for different values of maintenance costs and different values of cost of capital. Okay, so to do that, we will select our space and then do data what if analysis and then data table. So our row input is cost of capital. So the formula includes cost of capital and that number is originally stored in cell P3. So what this is saying is we are going to recalculate the formula where we are going to change the row input from P3 to the different values we have entered here. Similarly, we are going to recalculate the formula by changing the, the maintenance cost, which is originally saved in cell P22. So what this is saying is we are going to recalculate the NPV number by changing the value that is stored in cell P22 and instead using the values that we have entered here. So when I say okay, it is going to recalculate the NPV for different values of cost of capital and maintenance cost. Let me just format this to be all, to all be dollar or currency amounts and I'm going to center this all right so now it looks like even when this NPV number is calculated based on different values of cost of capital and maintenance cost it is still a very high number for example even when the cost of capital is 15 percent and the operation and maintenance cost is 30 percent still the NPV is a very high positive number so to summarize what we did in this lesson was we took the NPV number and evaluated whether the NPV number that is based on a set of assumptions is robust to the assumption that we are making in this example in the last example we changed two parameters 
cost of capital and maintenance cost. And this project turned out to be a good project, even when we almost double the cost of capital and almost double the maintenance cost. So the main lesson is we make some assumptions to calculate the financial viability of a project, but then we test the NPV calculation to the assumptions that we make. And if it is still a good project, then we go ahead and make the investment. Thank you.